Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB School. In this video, we are going to simulate BLDC uh, motor regenerative braking with supercapacitor technology. The same model is available for download from the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. Let us get into the simulation part. So this is the model that we are going to simulate. So here we have the BLDC motor. <coughs> in the MATLAB model, we don't have a separate BLDC motor. So here we need to convert the BLDC motor, uh, PMSM motor to BLDC motor. So it is purely based on the back EMF. If it is a sinusoidal wave, it becomes PMSM. And if it is a trapezoidal wave, it becomes BLDC motor. So this is a reference speed. The motor will be made to run at this speed. So with the reference speed, we will be comparing the actual speed. Initially, the actual speed will be in terms of radians per second. So it has to be converted to uh, RPM. So this conversion block will convert the radians per second to RPM. Then it will be compared with the actual speed. Reference speed and actual speed are compared. The error will be generated and the generated error is given as input to the uh, P controller. So the output of P controller would be the uh, pulse width, change in pulse width. And parallel to that, uh, we are getting the inputs from the Hall sensor. So as you can see, we have a measurement port available at the output of uh, BLDC motor. And out, uh, we have different parameters available to, uh, to be measured. And we can choose the one that we want to measure. So I have chosen the stator currents, rotor speed, TAR, back EMF, and Hall sensor output as the uh, targeted parameters to be measured. And uh, uh, here we have the blocks to convert the Hall sensor's output to uh, the gates. Since we have six uh, powertronic switches available at the inverter side, we need to provide six pulses. And uh, to change the uh, magnitude of the voltage, we are using PWM generator. The input of PWM generator will be coming from the output of uh, PA controller. <coughs> So this pulse width will be coming from the previous stage. It is coming from the P controller. And here we have the brake control part. So as you can see, if you click this brake pedal, uh, it will be linked to the brake. Okay. So zero corresponds to zero braking and the maximum value 0 0.95 corresponds to uh, maximum braking or extreme braking. So if the brake is applied, uh, the regenerative braking action will be happening. So here we have uh, the supercapacitor. The supercapacitor uh, will gather the energy during the time of regenerative braking. The rated capacity of the supercapacitor is 50 farad and the rated voltage is 300 volts. Number of series connected capacitors are 18. Parallel connected capacitors 1 and the initial voltage is 300 volts. So here we have the regenerative braking control action happening. <coughs> the current will be measured from the previous stage. So the measured current will be in the positive direction, uh, but uh, the regenerative braking will be in the reverse direction. So uh, we are converting uh, that to the reverse direction by multiplying it with gain value minus one. So here the assumed maximum current is uh, 5 amps. So it is purely based on the nameplate details of the motor. If the, uh, if the rated capacity of the motor is 20 amps, we can put 20 amps here. So that will be compared with the actual current and the error will be given as input to the PA controller again. Then it will be multiplied with the position of the brake pedal. So this is a brake pedal's position. So zero corresponds to zero braking or motoring condition and one corresponds to 1 R 0.95 corresponds to the full braking. Okay, right. So let us uh, simulate the model now. Let us click run. So here we can see the speed, current, speed, current, and power. So as you can see, the motor has reached a speed of uh, uh, 1500 rpm 
now let us supply break we shall apply break now and we can see the speed so the speed has come down to zero and at the same time you could see the uh, region to uh, I mean action happening so let us stop the model okay so as you can see here we have the current flowing in the reverse direction also the power uh, flowing in the reverse direction so this corresponds to the regenerative action of uh, BLDC motor so simultaneously we can see the current voltage and the SOC of the battery see here you can see the regenerative braking happening and this is the voltage so at this point you could see the SOC of the battery racing okay so this is where the regenerative action happening so this is uh, exactly coinciding with a negative flow of current and uh, simultaneously you can see the uh, SOC of the battery racing uh, to a significant value so thanks for watching the same model is available for download in the link given in the description and you can download it and you can use it for your purpose please uh, subscribe to our channel and also please share our channel to your friends thanks for watching